Oh, yeah. All right, here with Lansdowne quarterback Brent Stukes, his team a winner 15 to 10 over Bayside tonight in a hard fought game. Brent, I know the stats weren't the gaudiest of you for tonight, but the 25 yard touchdown there at the end uh, put your team ahead in the fourth quarter. You had to lead most of the night, you lost it. Uh, take me through what's going through your mind there as it was sort of a physical battle all night long. Yes, sir. I just thank God for my team. I thank God for the win. Mm -hmm. I thank my team for staying in it with me and keeping their composure. And I, had, I just had to lead because we were getting down in the second quarter, so I just had to calm them down. And get, and get them the lead. Yeah, you guys had a big first quarter start out getting them like a buck ten to eight. Uh, Luke Manhaskin had a big yes, huge sir. run for you. He was filling in nicely for Victor Jones. Did you guys want to know what base I did a week ago with the 63 points on Cox? Want to kind of control the game with the running game up front, line of scrimmage? Is that kind of the game plan going in? Or? Yes, sir. We were just trying to slow them down on defense, and as we did that, we got the win. Mm -hmm. What went away for you guys in the middle of quarters that you got to clean up because um, your defense has been rock solid through two games. Your offense hasn't made a lot of mistakes in terms of turning the ball over. Right. What you got to clean up to kind of be more explosive offensively? I had to clean up the way I was in the game. I was okay. too rowdy last week. Okay. This week I had to calm down and not throw silly passes sure. and talk to my offensive line, give me better blocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no interceptions tonight, friend. Are you proud of that? Yes, sir. And the passing completion line for you pretty good as well. You finish up uh, 8 of 16, so you take that, I think, with yes, the, or actually, I take that back, you're 8 of 12 throwing the ball tonight. Talk about Joe White, what a weapon he is for you, the guy going to UVA on the outside. He kind of opens up the whole defense for you, right? Yes, sir. He's a huge weapon, but I expected everybody to be double-teaming him, so mm -hmm. I told my other receivers, uh, Connor Sayo, Jalen Jennings, Tashi Jones, I told them to be ready. Be ready because they're going to be open. And Jalen made that big reception for you guys to kind of salt the, the game away with the clock there, that third down conversion for you. Yes, Two more for you, Brent. Um, I know Trey Jones is a big-time player for their defense, number six. I think he had 13 tackles tonight. Was yes, one of the keys to run away from him because he can hit you yes, pretty sir. hard? Or? Yes, sir. He was hitting, too. Yeah. He was doing a good job clogging up the middle and keeping an eye on me. Mm -hmm. And I just had to calm him down, tell somebody to get him. Yeah, you got somebody got him. See the score. We got, yeah, got that absolutely. On that touchdown right after uh, you came back in, you guys capitalized a couple plays to move it down further. What's this mean to get a win over Bayside, who you guys hadn't beaten since 2011? People say the beach is up for grabs. I know you guys want to grab it. Yes, sir. We do want to grab it. And this game against Bayside was just another win. Thank God. My three years being here, I never won against Bayside. So this is good for me. Well, 2-0 start for the dual threat quarterback, Brent Stutz and Lance on Eagles. Thanks for your yes, time. Sir.